Okay, so right here we have the aortic arch, which then becomes the brachiocephalic and the left subclavian artery. The brachiocephalic extends up here into three branches. These two branches right here are the common carotid arteries, and this branch right here is the right subclavian artery. Then if you move over to this side, you have the axillary ar artery in the armpit, which becomes the brachial artery as it extends down. And then you'll have your radial artery up top and your ulnar artery beneath it. Okay, right here we have our superior vena cava, which extends up into the brachiocephalic, which is two branches right here. The brachiocephalic comes over and branches into the external jugular vein right here. And then the subclavian vein is right here. Subclavian vein comes down into the axillary vein, and then into the brachial vein. Then you have the radial vein and the ulnar vein. Okay, right here we have the gastric vein and it's going into the stomach. Or oh, sorry, the artery, sorry. And then the one that goes underneath of the stomach right here, that is the hepatic artery. And then the one that goes into the spleen right here is the splenic artery. We also have the inferior vena cava and the renal vein that goes into the kidney. And then up here as well, which you can't really see, is the hepatic vein. Up here we have the hepatic portal vein. That extends down here into the superior mesenteric vein. And then there's a branch right here, and that's the gastrosplenic vein. And then if you follow that yellow up here and where it goes into the spleen, those are the splenic veins. And that's all for Okay, this. right here we have the superior mesenteric artery. It got cut, but right here should be the inferior mesenteric artery, and it would go into the colon. Here is the descending aorta right here. Um, or abdominal aorta, I'm sorry. And then right here we have the iliolumbar arteries and veins. Here, if you can see it, this is the external iliac artery and then this is the internal iliac artery. We also have the external iliac vein and in there is the external iliac or internal iliac vein. Before you get to the external iliac vein, you're going to have the common iliac vein, and that's right up here, right where it branches. And if you follow that down, we have the femoral vein and the femoral artery. You have to turn the cat over to see the popliteal vein, which is this thick vein down here that branches and then the branch on this side is the anterior um, tibial vein and then the branch on the, this side is the posterior tibial vein. Okay, um, the thing we forgot right down here is the great subvenous vein and it's, that's just this big one down here. Don't forget it and spell it right too.